So the first question I want to ask you is, what exactly inspired this movie? Because cle- the story in general, because clearly it's a story about love, love, and we can say about how much power has the music to bring you back in time. But for me, it's most of all how the music is an actor in our daily lives, even when we even think about it. Yeah, 100%. I think music is the actor in our lives, at least in my life. And I think because songs affected me in such an intense way throughout my life, that was one part of it. The other part of it was a book I read about music in the brain called Musicophilia by Oliver Sacks. So I think with those two things, um, that kind of was the genesis of, you know, the concept of the movie. And I want to say something about because the main character, Ariat, is... Obviously, she lives for music and she is a producer. I think this was really interesting because this has an impact for me even on the dialogues of the of the movie because you can see they are leaning for it. So I want to ask you something about this. If, if it was intentional, I guess, yeah. Yeah, Sorry, I, so. for sure. I think we wanted to sort of have her have had this career in music as an engineer, producer, um, like a Walter Gibbons or a you know, uh, even some of the guys from Steely Dan, um, and I think uh, Alan Parsons. Um, But I think, uh, uh, and obviously not being able to participate in that anymore because of her affliction uh, was really tough. But yeah, we consciously, um, you know, had her in that space or in that workspace that she had to give up and kind of isolate herself from. I think the movie really is about having to isolate herself from life and f- from experience in order to get by. And ultimately it's it's finding her, her way back to it through music and back to experience, back to living her life, back to dancing and, you know, listening to music in a healthy way again. Yeah, I think Hello. it's just, a you know, how powerful our emotions can be intertwined with certain songs or certain music and I think for me that was always huge so to reflect that in that character and also the other characters too was important. And obviously I want to ask you something about the soundtrack. We listen a little bit here and that of something but I want to ask you how you know this is true. The songs, there is a a beautiful festival we we watch in the movie so can you tell me something about this? Yeah there are lots of different um personal reasons for the different songs. I I worked with uh, the music supervisor, Mary Ramos, and uh, DJ Harvey, and Ryan Lott, the composer, and even Nelly Furtado as well, uh, kind of constructing what the soundscape of the movie was. But some of it was really personal, like the the Jamie XX song at the music festival. My wife and I had gone to see him play at Outside Lands in San Francisco early in our relationship and that was really important to me to put that song in there so that becomes kind of an integral song to Harriet in the movie um you know there are songs like the Roxy Music song which I was at a DJ Harvey uh show and uh he played that song and I remember being on the dance floor and just being sort of euphoric with it and I think it's just finding those songs that for me were you know uh just created that kind of ecstatic feeling, you know, in terms of their, what they can make you do, making you dance, making you sing, you know, songs that have emotional resonance. So one last uh, last question about, of course, I don't know if I can tell this, so I let you spoil it because there is a singer that you just named that we kind of see in the movie. And I guess her song is one of one of the point moments of the movie. So I want to ask you if the song and the singer has a particular meaning to you. Yeah, That's for that. sure. I mean, obviously I have nostalgia to that song when I was younger, you know, I was in college and that song was everywhere. And uh, so we wanted to find a song or choose a song that felt ubiquitous, that would be on a classic or a pop, you know, radio station playing top 40 hits. Um, so it made sense that that song came on and it was so great that she agreed to work with us in the movie and then do a new song for the movie, which uh, with yeah. Ryan Lott, which was really exciting. So, um, yeah, it, it was definitely, definitely something that I had nostalgia for. 